We're delighted to have Malala Yousafzai giving this lecture. We chose her because she's uh, a very powerful voice and she speaks to a younger audience. We're trying to reach that younger audience. She will be the youngest Nelson Mandela annual lecturer up to now. And of course she is the youngest Nobel Peace Prize laureate. Well, what will be the focus of the lecture, having chosen a younger person to deliver the message? Well, she'll be speaking to the broad theme of, of leadership and issues that she's been wrestling with for many years around access to education and so on. She's also going to be here for a couple of extra days and will be engaged in an intergenerational dialogue. Ten years on, since Madiba passed on, this lecture, how important is this coming lecture when you look at that? Well, it does have the significance of the 10th anniversary, and that's one of the reasons we've chosen to go back to the site of the very first Nelson Mandela annual lecture back in 2003. So we're kind of closing a circle. But how significant, how important will be determined by what we do with the lecture moving forward. It's the work that we do afterwards that really makes it count. It comes at a very difficult time. The war in Ukraine, we are still recovering economically from COVID-19, particularly the global economy. And you can see that the nations are restless. The socio-economic conditions are unbearable. Well, I think she speaks to a global audience and uh, we know that she will address the global issues that you refer to clearly. Uh, humanity has to make some big decisions quickly. Uh, we have to do differently, or else the human project uh, itself is in danger. The Secretary General of the United Nations, uh, Antonio Guterres, saying the world or countries are drifting apart. Is this the issue of leadership that perhaps she is going to focus on that has led to where we are the world drifting apart well i think there are terrible failures of leadership and we can speak about them at great length but i think if we're going to find sustainable solutions all of us the whole of humanity every human being has to acknowledge that we have to find the leader within each one of us has to show leadership now we have to find solidarity and we have to do the difficult things that need to be done